No matter how awkward, how complicated, or how simple, we're here to answer all of your health questions. Hot flashes, irritability, dryness down there. Wait, why are you all cheering? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They're saying they understand. But you understand, I actually think that's the point of today because even things like menopause we know can really mess with you and your system. So it's not surprising women are looking for solutions everywhere they can including now the sack. I started menopause eight years ago and I was wondering, does increased sexual activity help with the menopausal symptoms? Will it increase it? Will it decrease it? Will it make me happier? Really good question, Chris, and to help us out with this answer is OBGYN, Dr. Tice Alibadi joining us via Skype. Dr. Alibadi, thank you. And We've talked a lot on this show about natural ways to improve um, menopause symptoms. Talk to us about SEX. So it's actually true. Vaginal uh, sexual activity after menopause is very important. Most importantly, it helps stimulate blood flow to the vagina. It keeps the vaginal muscles toned and it uh, keeps that elasticity and uh, help us maintain the length of the vagina. I mean, this is a big problem for women and not all women want to jump immediately on board with hor hormonal replacement therapy, my wife included. So. Yesterday, as I was preparing for this segment, I was reading what we're going to talk about, and I go, hey, honey, sex is good for menopause. <laughs> that did not get her in the room, but I tried. <laughs> it's definitely different once you hit menopause, but it doesn't have to be bad, right, doctor? Right, right. The the big problem is with uh, menopause, the low hormone levels can make the vaginal tissue thin and dry. So as it gets thin and dry, it causes a discomfort with sex. It causes painful sex. So women don't want to have sex. The low hormones can also affect uh, their sex drive. Mm. So not only their libido goes down, it gets painful. Most of them have uh, night sweats at night, so they're not sleeping well at night. Uh, so in the morning, they're tired. There's some mood changes that are associated with menopause that makes them more irritable and uncomfortable. So altogether, the experience is not as pleasant so after I'm, menopause. So it's I'm curious. Kind of like a cycle is what you're saying, because you're tired and your, your hormones are low, so you don't have sex. And that actually decreases the release of those hormones that would increase your sex drive in the long term, correct? Correct, absolutely. But it's not all bad news because obviously you're, you've been telling women sex can be good for menopause. What can women do in addition to obviously personal lubricant? So it's a good point. There's some life, easy lifestyle changes that can make a difference. Number one, physical activity. Being active helps a lot. It boosts their energy. They're in a better mood. When you're in a better mood, you're more likely to want to have sex. If they're smoking, I always tell them to stop smoking because uh, smoking can reduce the blood flow to the vagina and it makes it more difficult for them to get aroused. There are some pelvic floor activities that will increase the blood flow to the vagina. There are some products out there for patients who have decreased libido, and there's some testosterone creams or sublingual drops they can use that can help with their symptoms. But the most common symptom is vaginal dryness and painful sex, and uh, we definitely have treatment for that. The sooner you treat it, the better it is. The most common treatment for vaginal dryness is an estrogen cream that we prescribe. It's a prescription. They use it twice a week. It's more of a long-term use. Uh, FDA has approved a CO2 device. It's a CO2 laser, vaginal laser device that helps with vaginal rejuvenation. And it really does help with the symptoms of atrophy. And it improves their sex. And the histological studies show that you bring back some of those, those uh, vaginal glands that atrophy is part of men menopause. So, I mean, that's that's an option to look yeah. into. Yeah, albeit an expensive option, maybe yes. not for everyone, but just like any form of resurfacing, just like you can do on the skin, this would be in the mucosal surface to improve that texture.